going on, y'all? This is your boy Fat Cat back with another video, man. I appreciate you. If you're new, I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, if you're a returner or a return subscriber or return viewer, I appreciate you for coming back and checking out another video. Today we are going to check out a 2017 Nissan Maxima Platinum Edition. As you guys know, man, first thing we're going to do is get you guys some B-roll, man. So here we go. As you guys can see, man, this car is pretty dope as it is. I mean, it's like a pearl, it's like a pearl white. Has the uh, the panoramic sunroof, you can see it's all black on the top, man. That's pretty dope. It goes uh, dope with this color combination. Has the pin stripe right here as well. Um, man, I like it. Has, uh, like I said, the color combination is pretty dope on this one. The spec is pretty dope. I haven't even sat on the inside yet, so we gotta check that out when we get in. But definitely, man, these wheels look dope. Look at this. What size are these? 18 sport wheels. Got the chrome and uh, you know, brush brush look to it. Pretty dope. Got the chrome door handles and everything else. Yeah, man. Yeah, this thing is pretty nice. Yeah, this thing is pretty nice, man. You can't you can't go wrong with the Maxima ever. You know, this thing's kind of made a comeback. I think they were obsolete for a little while, but they definitely came back. You guys seen the car, man. Let's go check it on the inside and see what we got in there. Woo, look what we got in here. Oh, first of all, let's turn this down. You know, that's that. Copyright. But yeah, man, look at this. You got, you know, wood here on the, uh, on the trim. The chrome. Look at this. Man, this is a, almost like a diamond cut stitching on the leather. Man, that's pretty dope, man. Maximum embroidery on the carpets. Look at that. Look at that. Infotainment center. Oh, yeah. It's definitely a nice car. I didn't, I was not expecting this right here whatsoever. Oh, you guys can see. You guys can see how I'm standing here. I mean, I'm a, like I said, I'm a bigger dude, so you guys already know. I mean, I fit in here fine. Let me see. I'm gonna close this door. Yeah, look at that. I feel nice and comfortable. No worries, no issues at all, man. Look at that. I got look all that leg room I got. Yeah, man. Look, look at all this leg room. Man, I can stretch my feet out, man. I mean, I'm not the tallest guy in the world. I'm, a, I'm about 5'10. But, man, I got this seat all the way back, man, and I can't even. I can't even touch the uh, the end of it. That's crazy. Yes, yeah, so you got nothing but but room in this car. Same thing on the other side. Yep. I love this infotainment center. That's pretty nice. I know that you got a camera back here. Then you got the dual dual uh, shades. Let me see if I can figure out how to open that. Oh, there you go. Oh, man, I didn't even notice that. It opens. So one from the back and one from the front. It opens at the same time. Oh, that's dope, man. But yeah, you got the panoramic sunroof. When you close it, close back up. Yeah, man. Let's go check out the back. So sitting the way I was sitting, I'm definitely not gonna sit fit in there. So let's go adjust the seat and see how we fit in the back with a with a normal person. <laughs> 
All right, so sitting back here with like a normal person would, I mean, even this seat is still kind of back, you know, tilted back a little bit. But even still, man, me sitting back here with somebody who's sitting at normal, at no more, uh, you know, seat position. Boom, look at that. I got room, you know, got room over here. Like I said, and I, I'm obviously, I'm by no means am I a small guy. I mean, I think I'm probably a little bit bigger than the average dude uh, nowadays as far as girth wise. <laughs> But yeah, man, but you know, so, uh, yeah, I still, I, I could ride back here comfortably for at least a good, you know, two, three hours, no problems. So, look at that. Got shade in the back. Man, these Maximus come, come pretty nice nowadays, man. That's good stuff. Look at that. We still have wood trimming on the, on the, uh, on the panels here, on the door panels chrome accents it's kind of like a leatherette right here yeah not too bad cup holders in there not too bad all right let's see yep pull this down you got cup holders in here you got like another little slot you could throw some stuff in there for people in the back passengers yeah man he definitely takes care of this car you can tell that uh you know he can take care of leather and everything else seat back pockets you got the uh, the venting back here for the back for the uh, you know back passengers. Yeah, man, it's pretty dope. You got your little uh, antenna right here, so it doesn't look too crazy with like the you know big old stupid antenna. It's a nice car, man. Let's check out the. First of all, let's check out the back, the rear on this side. More wood, more chrome. Yeah, same thing like the other side, man. For your safety, you got your, your kids' straps there that you could put in. They're usually like under the seat, yep. What's that? No, nah, no, nah, man, I'm just doing a little car review thing on it for you two. Oh, man, you a good job, so we watch you, Oh, thank you. That, that's his car right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just doing like a little car review on for you two. Oh, okay. Yeah. What year is it? 2017. Yep. It looks like it's like a pearl white, right? Yep. Look good, right? Yeah. That's why I told him I gotta do a review on it. <laughs> yeah, it look good. Yeah, man. Anyway, so. Back to the uh, back to the review, yeah, man. Even this side looks dope. Like look at this. You got all your, again, you got all your uh, your wood over here, chrome again. One and two uh, memory seating. Oh, this has a Bose uh, sound system. So just like I did on the Cadillac, um, like I said, you know, Bose ain't probably not the best that you can get, but you know, you know what you're gonna get with Bose. Bose is world renowned and just all around you know like i said it's 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 known so you know you know what you're gonna get with that oh look at you got heated and cool seats right here you got your cup holders more cup holders here look at all this here oh you got your normal mode you got sport mode normal mode look at that all your uh all your dials and 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 options here for your like navigation and your menus and everything else oh for up there so that's pretty cool so you got your little dial here that you can use you got your like I said, you got your options here, which you can use. You can go back to manual, go back, whatever. All your menu, your menu buttons there. I'm sure you could do it up there too. Up oh, there, you go right there. So you could do it right there, or you could do it here while you're driving. You know, you got to take your hands too far away from, you know, from where your arm normally sits at. Start stop button right there, engine. Yeah, man, this thing looks good. Oh. You got your uh, your cluster here. This car got 30,000 miles on it. So obviously, you know, he drives and he hasn't had any issues with it so thus far. 82 degrees here in Florida today. Today is August, what, 23rd? No, I'm sorry, October 23rd. So, you know, nice fall day here for, for Florida. Yeah, man. 160 on the dash. 
Man, this car is good to go. Man, let's take it out for a drive, though. That's what we really want to see. Trying to cut right. All right, man. So we in the car. Like I said, I got my boy Gus here, man. Definitely good uh, or big uh, appreciation for him coming out and letting me do this. Uh, it's his off day today. Um, and, you know, he he woke up early this morning and, and let me come out and review his car. So big shout out to Ghost of Gus. But anyway, so what's your perspective on the car? You've had a car for how long now? Uh, I've had it since the beginning of the year, about six months. Uh, definitely well worth the money. Um, definitely love the feature of the, the double sunroof. Yeah, I showed him that. That's pretty dope. I like the way, man, That's I've never seen it where it, you know what I'm saying, like it goes from the front and the back. Yeah, definitely. Because like on our car, like on our uh, Explorer we got, yep. you know, we got the panel as well, but it just goes back and then it goes back some more, like if you want to hit it again. So it's crazy that it goes from the front and the back. I've never seen that before. Yeah, you know, it gives people in the back seat a feel of a uh, sunroof feel of in the back too. So it's right, good. right, right. It's good. But I'm saying, but I'm saying, but it's dope the way that the shade comes up, like from the back to the front, yeah. like dope. So like it goes at the same time, and it meets in the middle, man. It's dope. You haven't had any issues or anything like that with nah, it? No, no issues at all. And this is a 3.5 uh, V6. V6, 300 horsepower. 300 horsepower. Yep. Man, so I, I was saying, like I was telling them earlier, man, like, it's crazy because, like, if you're old enough, man, in the late 90s, Maximos was, like, the shit. And then for a while, like, Maximo, like, they kind of just became, like, obsolete. Like, you really well, they were actually going to do away with the Maximo in 2015, so there's no right. Maximo for 2015. 15, right. Yeah, 16, they came out with this body style, so I went 16, 17, 18, and I think they're going to keep it until the 20. And then after that, they should redesign the Redesign it, right? Yep. But I'm saying, but even, but even, but I'm saying, but even like in like the early 2000s, like Max, because they had that one body style was ugly as hell. Like nobody, you know what I'm saying? Like nobody really bought it. Yeah. Or at least it wasn't like that. Oh, because, you know, Maximo was dope. Because it used, back in the 90s, man, or late 90s, anyway, like everybody, if you had a Maximo, it was like, oh, that, you know, you was the shit. And then, uh, um, like I said, in the early 2000s, kind of just like almost went away a little bit. And then... And then now, and, and then one, yeah, right when it came out with this body style, it came back strong again. Super strong. Yeah, I would say though, the only thing, I, and don't take offense to this, I would say the only thing though is like Nissan, um, cause like the Ultimas almost look exactly like this. Like. Correct. Well, that's why they were gonna do away with the Maximo body style, cause right. the Ultima was pulling sales from the Maximo. So I, I would say that's the only thing is that because back similar body style. Cause back in the day, like you knew, okay, you had Ultimas and Maximas look completely different. Yeah. Right, so you knew, okay, this dude got an Ultima, this dude got a Maxima. So when they came back with this body style and they came, and they brought the Ultima out as well, um, like I said, it kind of just looked the same. But still, man, everybody know though. If you got a Max, you know, you got an Ultima, it's like, eh, hey, you know, you whack. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just like to call the Ultima <laughs> yeah. ladies' cars and the Maxima men's exactly, cars. Exactly, exactly. You know what I'm saying? But if you got that Max, it's like, all right, cool, man. You got the Max, so so you good. Yeah, but it's straight though, man. And like I said, I like the man. This infotainment center is crazy. Duh. Yeah, that's that's my favorite part. I mean, yeah, I'm saying you got all these features. I mean, satellite radio, Look at that. traffic. I mean, pick your source. I mean, two Bluetooths. I mean, that's I what I was noticing that you could do it here, yep. and then you got the same options there that you could do it. Yep. Basically, you don't got to go too far away from where you're normally where you where yeah, your arm. This feature right here is clutch right here. Right. Like this. Because your arm just naturally sits here, so it's good that you could just use it like that. Yep. But that's that's Audi style right there, like. Because the Audi's got that dial. At least they, I think they came out with that one. I had a 2000, I had a 2010 Audi A, A, A6. I don't think you ever seen that car, right? No, I don't know. Yeah. I had a 2010 Audi A6 and it had the little dial right here. So I think Audi came out with that and then other cars ran with it too. But it's this is a dope feature because like I said, it's one is safety. You don't got to be worried about reaching up. And like I said, it's where you normally sit. And obviously you got all, everything and you I need right there. And I hate fingerprints on the screen, so. That too. <laughs> <laughs> that too. But yeah, man, yeah, this car is dope, man. Like I said, I, it, it this probably would have been a car that I probably would have went and got if I would have just took my time with my X5 messed up. But you know, like like I was telling Gus earlier, man, I'm a I'm a impulse type dude, which is a gift and a curse. But you know, when my X5 messed up, man, within two hours I was in my other car. And if I would have sat down for like a 24 hours at least, I probably would have got something else. And this probably would have been one in the consideration for sure. This is a dope car. You know, it was also another dope car, um, and it's actually similar to this. Is the uh, the new Camrys? Oh yeah, Camrys are super nice. I got that actually on a rental before I got this, right. and it had all the features that this has. It exactly. has everything. 
I mean, even the Apple CarPlay is a big plus if you're an Apple guy. I mean, exactly. you plug your phone in and your, your maps come well, up, Waze well, comes we're up. Well, talking about the... Android Autos. Okay. Apple, Android. <laughs> <laughs> we Android over here, but anyway. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, yeah, but yeah, uh, uh, Apple CarPlay, uh, Andrew Auto, all that good stuff. Like I said, I know somebody who has a Camry, and I was surprised, man, that he let me sit in it. I didn't drive or anything like that, but, you know, he let me look inside of it. Uh, actually, it was the uh, my uh, uh, the sales guy at the Volkswagen dealership. He had a camera. He just bought a brand new camera like the week before, and um, or he leased it anyway. But anyway, yeah, he was like, "Yeah, man, take a look at it." And I looked at it, and I was like, "Man, that thing is nice." Like Camrys back in the day, again back in the late '90s, early 2000s, was like, "Yeah, you got a Camry." But now them yep. things, now them Camrys go hard though. Yeah, those Camrys are sweet. Yeah. So, but yeah, man, this, like I was telling, thing coming like the. Uh, the wood right here, the wood paneling all around, the shade in the back, like that's crazy. You, you know what surprised me the most of this car? It was like the diamond stitching. Well, the platinum one is the only one that comes with the, with the diamond stitching. All the other models don't come with the diamond stitching. Mm -hmm. Only the platinum model comes with the diamond stitching in the seats. All right, let's hit it. Let, let, me, let me see how this, let's see how much power this thing got. Hey, it get up. It get up. Zero to 60, and they say 3.5 seconds. 3.5 so seconds. That's what they say. Oh, yeah, this thing get up. You could definitely, like I said, tell the power. It's not it, It's not like, I mean, obviously, it's not like a, uh, you know, like, oh, my God, you can't, like, breathe type of power, but it's definitely, no. you can feel it, like, getting up, and you're definitely not going to. The main thing is you're not going to die in traffic. No, definitely not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you try to get on the traffic, and that's what I judge a lot of these cars on, is, you know, am I going to die when I'm trying to get onto the unwrap, you know, on the highway or whatever? And like I said, this is definitely not one of, the, you know, this is definitely not one of those cars. You definitely get up and, and go with this one. So for sure, man, man, I like that, man. It got heated, cool seats, heated everything. Heated and cool seats. Heated, cool seats. Does this car have any, because it's the Platinum Edition, does it have any, um, like, ambient lighting at night? Yes, it does. There's one that runs right across this dashboard. It runs all the way through the wood to the other side of the steering wheel. So you see like a little accent lighting at night. Yeah, that's dope. Uh, underneath the footrest light up. So at night you see underneath the footrest light up. And then outside the car there's an exterior light that light up underneath the outside too. Wow. Look at that, man. Yeah, definitely. See, all, all that, man. And, and like I said, so all of, all those little things is what make the car, you know, yeah, that worth at, it. At night the car is... Yeah. Real nice. Okay, you, you got you got options to change the colors and all that on nah, the ambient lighting. Co co colors stay the same. It's just like a like a HID white little okay LED strip and then underneath. So it just looks real clean. Yeah, real clean. Yeah, bright white. Like I said, I, I mean, I was telling them before because I, I did the little review on on um um on our Explorer and the Explorer has the accent lighting as well and you could change the colors. But we you know you got like red and yellow and all these crazy colors, but. <laughs> That one threw me back a little bit, and I wasn't even expecting it. <laughs> <laughs> this thing would definitely get up, man. Hey, for sure, this thing would definitely. Oh, you you had that in sport mode? Yeah, it was. Oh, sport. that's what it was. Hey, you try to see? I was like, oh, that, that one felt different. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. It was a sport mode. But yeah, but uh, yeah. So I, you know, you got the red and the yellow and all the other crazy colors, but I don't even use all of them. I use the regular. Like the light blue, what I got? That's one that looks the best. Yes, yep. Looks the best. So, yeah, this car. But this car is definitely dope. I again, I want to appreciate Gus uh, or thank Gus for for coming out and letting me do this today. No problem. Um, hey man, if you want to shout out your IG or anything? I know you. Gus, can I tell him where you work at? Or what yeah, you do? Yeah, yeah. All right. So, Gus, uh, he, he's a barber at the barber shop that I go to. He don't cut my hair. But he's a barber at one of the barbershops to go to. Everybody in there is cool. Um, it's called it's called the barbershop actually here in Tampa, Florida. So if you're ever in Tampa, make make sure you guys go see them, man. They they definitely gonna take care of you. You you got you wanna try out your IG? Yeah, I, so? IG uh, at G the B uh, G underscore the underscore B. And that's gonna pop up on the bottom of the screen. So like I said, anytime you guys uh, here in Tampa, go hit them up. Stop um, by, check us out. Stop by, check them out, man. Dopest barbers in town for sure. And they go all cool, like I said. I mean, what other barber you know will come out on the off day to, you know, to let you review their car? So <laughs> they be talking shit all the time because I be in there crying about the Giants. <laughs> <laughs> I be in there crying all the time, man. But hey, it's all good. They be talking shit, but at the end of the day, man, they all good people, man. So definitely salute to them. But all right, man. Hey, again, I appreciate you guys checking in. 
uh, if you guys haven't already um, make sure you guys hit that like button hit that subscribe hit that notification bell uh, hit hit the share button as well go check out my kids channels if you guys haven't already if you got kids that like to watch YouTube it's gonna be on the bottom of the screen Brotastic Toys and Adventures um, yeah man appreciate you guys for checking in like I said if you're new appreciate you uh, check out the channel if you are a return subscriber or return viewer appreciate you checking uh, coming back and checking it out man. make sure you guys hit that uh, notification bell we're gonna come back with a lot a lot a lot a lot of more content man check you guys on that man later